In this video we're talking about a customer's Badger Chrome airbrush. The customer sent it in saying he doesn't think the air valve is working correctly. Also the airbrush doesn't seem to be painting how he'd like it to be. So we'll take a quick look at it, see what we can work out and Try. Ah. Well, inside the uh, colour cup, there is a lot of paint down in there. Um, also, the needle has been pulled back, which I'm assuming the customer did for. Um, I'm thinking there's no tip in the airbrush at all. And we'll just check. Yeah, the tip is completely missing as I'm trying to pull the needle back it is sticking badly and there is paint all the way down the needle the uh, paint in the colour cup I'm hoping that will show and the spray regulator looking like it could do with a good clean also the hold down ring and we'll take a look in the back end of the airbrush that is looking okay and as the customer has said that um, it is the air valve, he thinks maybe the an a issue with the airbrush. Ah. There's the pin isn't sitting forward the uh, pin on the air valve is sitting way back so I'm assuming that um, by all the marks around the head here the customers had the air valve out to take a look at it Yeah, and there's no spring inside the air valve. As I say, I'm assuming the customers had that part, lost the spring, or didn't realise there was a spring there. Um, so I think with the way this cup is and um, these other parts that are rather um, covered in paint, we'll get this one into soak and uh, explain to the customer what we've found and then continue the video once we've cleaned the airbrush up a little. I've now got this Badger Chrome airbrush cleaned up after it's been in soak for a couple of days. I am pleased with how it has turned out. It does look quite nice and it is cleaned up really well. So now I shall get it all built up and uh, lubricating it along the way with the Badger uh, lubricant and uh, get the new parts fitted which is the tip and this is the ultra fine tip um, because it has the needle that only has one notch so that indicates the uh, ultra fine setup and the spring for the air valve these two parts were missing 
so I shall put new ones into it and uh, get it all built up. I shall speed this section up um, because we do have videos of this airbrush being built up um, from previous and I don't want to take up too much time but for those that do want to see it being built up and lubricated it will be there. So now I shall try some water in the airbrush to uh, check it is working. And although it probably cannot be seen on, oh it can, it can just be seen on camera, the airbrush is working and it's getting its nice fine detail that this airbrush is capable of. And so now I shall get this airbrush um, wiped round and uh, sent back to the customer. Hope you do find these videos helpful and informative. We do these to try and help you guys sort out your own airbrushes so that you don't have to send your airbrushes in and you can uh, fix the issues with your airbrush at home. Again, thank you so much for watching. And if you can, please subscribe and like the video to help them grow so that other people can find them easily. Again, thank you so much.